Sunday, March 8, 2015. This hamster came in yesterday with neck cellulitis. Uh, they were stitched by the other vet three times, but the wound had broken down so today. So yesterday we took out the stitches, as you can see, the, the wound, the neck wound, after removal of the tumour is, is uh, too, too uh, big, so it's not possible to stitch up here to here, and uh, that's why the stitch break now, and then there's infection and smell, now as you can see the, the wound, now if uh, the other way is to open here, either open open here and but there's no space uh, but you, you open here, open here and then put back the skin but it's difficult yeah. It's difficult to close by, by stitching. After removal of the tumor, then uh, in this case maybe they have to the stitch a bit here, a bit here, and a bit here and then leave a big a smaller hole. Because uh, if we try to cover the hole, if we try to cover the whole wound, it's not possible because of the big tumor. And uh, from what I see, after removal of the of the stitch, the third stitch, you can see that uh, what you 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 would have to do early on after removal of the neck tumor is you open up here or here, and then just stitch up a bit here. And then this angle, you stitch up, you open the Z, and then you just stitch up a bit, and then this part stitch up a bit, and this corner, this corner is stitch up a bit, that means you have a big hole still, but this hole will be half the size, and this hole will heal by granulation, and, uh, and it won't be as big as now, you see, but the vet tried to stitch up, the vet tried to stitch here to here, here to here and uh, three times, so uh, it's too uh, the tension is too high, so it never never uh, never close, and then the owner keeps on uh, complaining that she had sent to the vet for three three times. So now we let the wound heal by granulation. Now to do that you need two people. One person cannot do the job. So normally under anesthetic, all this will be will be cut off like all this dead skin uh, all this and then uh, and then uh, the wound is clean so that there will be less these are one causing the smell smelly so now I'm going to do do it and uh, and that's how you treat an infected wound uh, neck wound which is a big wound and give antibiotics and injection